I try not to do too much talking. Day three of the cruise. Let's see today, I'll see tomorrow as well. So it gives me a chance to explore. This is deck five, where the Royal Promenade is, where all the shops are. And from here, from the back, looking up to the atrium, gives you an idea of sensor scale. The lifts will go all the way from level two to, I think, level 14. I'll have to check then. They do move very swiftly. Uh, these are the cabins that face, or state rooms, that face out into, the promenade, into this uh, promenade area. If you don't fancy a sea view or I imagine some people who do suffer from seasickness is probably a very good uh, way of having something with a window. It's also as big as uh, some of the uh, balcony rooms. Guest services desk. Short excursions desk. A small bar, so let's, uh, let's walk around there. Have a quick look and see if we can get into the Royal Promenade. Have a little look around. We won't talk as we go through here, I'll just let you have a look at the uh, shops on offer. normally open uh, late afternoon into the evening. That's the wine bar that uh, as the name suggests. Predominantly just sells wine. And over here, the two poets pubs, uh, that's what sells a lot of beer. Uh, very good selection of ales in there. And that's open basically from very early in the morning on sea days because we've got no restrictions on licensing. A uh, perfume shop. Uh, so ben and Jerry's ice cream counter. That's slightly extra, uh, obviously. Uh, isn't part of your normal milk package, but comparable prices. Uh, it used to be a Starbucks, but now is a Illy uh, based cafe. This is the only place on the ship which is open 24 hours for food. Um, they mainly do snacks and sandwiches. And it's all, all, all pretty busy normally. There's some self-service about one side. Uh, fashion place. Oh, you can get, it's not just fashion in there. There's everything in there. Cups. Anything you really want as a souvenir. Uh, here's another look the other side. There's a few more lifts this side. Um, if you don't fancy the lifts which are on the outside, there are of course lifts on the inner side of the ship which don't look out if you're frightened of heights, for example. And that just goes all the way up. Virtually all of these floors have uh, state rooms on. There's another view down the promenade from the other way. Let's see if we can just uh, go and take one of these lifts and see if we can go up to another level.
give you an idea what it's like in one of these glass ones. Yeah, we'll get that. What's the level? What's the level? What's the level? What's the level? That's tonight's show. Which uh, I'm looking forward to. It's a Beatles tribute show on tonight. And then you've got the Ice Dark show as well. This is now deck 12. Just gonna go outside, this is one of the top decks. Let's see. Solarium down there. Very nice quiet area, which we normally use for um, I think over 16s if accompanied by an adult or over 18s if you know. It's a nice salt water pool there, hot tub to either side. As I say, that's a very quiet area, nice if, if you don't fancy the hustle and bustle of the main pool, that's quite a nice place to go to. And uh, it's got its own bar, as we've been in there a couple of times. And say the hot, hot tubs are very hot. But uh, yeah, a very nice place to go in there. One thing I have been impressed about is the uh, incredible amount of sun lounges there is. Um, and on a day like today, which as you can see, is very, very pleasant. Uh, it's still not overly busy, there's still a few sun loungers even now at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's quite good and uh, very nice place to be. Main pool area. Just a quick look down here, just give you an idea of what it looks like. Wow, As you can tell, this is where you want to be. If you, if you want a bit more um, of a fun time, let's say, <laughs> best way of putting it. Um, so where you want to come really is if you've got small children this is the best place to come as well. I don't pretend to be a, a brilliant blogger but it's give me a first time, give it a go, try and give you a flavour of what um, Navigator of the Seas is actually like. As you can see around the top end of this, actually here, 
that's what they call the running track. That goes around the entire uh, space of deck 12. Across the top here, just around. That gives you a good idea. Let's see if we can get another view of the pool area. You can hear the wind now, because uh, it's not a particularly windy day, but of course when you're moving, it will generate some wind. As you can see, the, the hot tubs everywhere, it's very, very busy. I won't dwell too long on the... Uh, to the spot, obviously not really people's privacy, but it gives you an idea what it's like. From here we can just go round to the rear end of the ship, show you what it looks like out the back. You know, an unbelievably calm day. Uh, I know you can probably hear a bit of wind, but that's only really where we're moving, we're generating wind. Um, there's absolutely flat, calm sea. No swell at all. Look out, Tom. If you're not a lover of the sun, there's always anywhere you can sit. Loads of sun lounges outside of the sun. If you're not a particularly person who likes to get sunburn, or um, or indeed you have a dislike of hot weather, you can, there's so many places you can just sit and relax. to the rear of the ship, have a little look out. Today, obviously, the view's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Sunny blue skies, can't beat it. <laughs> On this side is uh, a few of the places we're coming up from where the children's, and one where the teenagers' area are. And just going through here now, one of the speciality restaurants, albeit one of the cheapest ones, uh, very popular obviously with uh, families, is Johnny Rockets. It's a speciality burger bar, which is uh, relatively cheap. I think it's $9.95 per person cover charge, but they do speciality burgers, um, chicken burgers, anything you like, really. And the uh, ice creams are ice creams and milkshakes are supposed to be absolutely fantastic through into there is obviously the video arcade let's carry on a little bit on the side oh actually so what we will do we'll go into the arcade on sea days johnny rockets is open uh, all day virtually from 11 to 11 but uh, in when you're in port it's normally only open in the evenings it's gonna be very loud so i'm going to stop talking for a minute but this is the arcade This side, actually, we haven't been down this side yet. I'll walk around to the front of the ship on this level, uh, the nursery area um, for the babies and toddlers. Obviously, I can't video in there, but uh, that gives you an idea where it is on deck 12. Um, also, in there, which I went past, didn't really show it because obviously I don't want to 
uh, video into a children's area. It's not a very good idea, but uh, in there as well is the living room where the 15 and the 15 to 17 year olds have their club. Um, Zach and Darren have already taken part in the tournament in there. Very well organised, very friendly, and um, yeah, I don't, I've got no trouble with Zach and Darren. Here's one more level. See if we can get to the front of the ship. There we go. No, right out at the front. Now you can see here how many spaces there are. Uh, I hear the wind here. We're actually laying down on there. You can see they've got wind brings. So you're not really going to feel it that much. I'm just going to go up the front and see what we can get. Pleasant up here. And this is a full ship this week. They've sold this cruise out. It just goes to show that there are spaces wherever you want to go. There will be somewhere you can sit down. So whether you want something quiet, whether you want something noisier or more involving, there's something for you. Side, go down a couple of levels in the lift. Show you a few other places. These are obviously the main areas you're going to be probably using the majority of the time. That's deck 12, that's really where everything is as regards pools, and you, know, you only have to go down one level to level 11, which is where the solarium is. Level 12 is oh, this uh, lovely wraparound Lido deck. Is, Gonna do a short view of this map. Let's give you an idea about what is on what level.
that's come on the love. <laughs> Give me an idea about exactly what it's like. Um, this shot, it's going to be a short cut in the video now while I decide. Back up now, going, I've gone up to deck 13. Uh, one thing I did forget to show, at the back of the ship, this is where all the sports activities are, so they've got a football tournament at the moment, uh, also in the basketball court. One of the most unusual things about Navigator is this, and that is the nine hole crazy golf course. Well, they just call it a golf course, but it is a crazy golf course, but it's very, very good, very difficult to uh, get a hole in one on, as we found yesterday. But uh, incredibly entertaining and yeah, quite a nice unique experience. taking a photograph so I didn't want to go past them. Uh, out here, uh, if, if your children are under 16, they have to be signed up as a waiver. Or, or actually under 18, sorry, they have to sign a waiver. This is something which is, um, I don't know whether it's exclusive to Royal Caribbean now, whether other ships have got this, the Flow Rider. It's a chance for you to uh, try surfing. cruise lines offer this. A lot of these Royal Caribbean ships have either got them or they're going to be retrofitted to have the flow rider put in. It seems to be a very, very popular uh, activity, even just for people watching. Uh, so, you know, something to give a go for. Let's have a look and see how this guy does. different, something unique. And, uh, I think you do need that on the ship. It's very difficult, obviously. They're always going to offer good food, all these cruise ships offer good food. Uh, on here is no exception. Yeah, another thing. Things become more increasing with these cruise ships now is, is this thing. I don't think there's any real age restriction on that at all. We've, we've seen people go up. Obviously, it doesn't really get that busy. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I've seen adults do it, I've seen children do it, I've seen obviously children need to be with a parent to do it. But all ages, all sizes. Um, and if you're brave enough to do it, you do it. There's, there's different little bells at different areas. So if you just fancy going up to a short area to ring the bell to say you've done it, then you've done it. Um, they will usually uh, punch your card to prove that you've done it. And uh, some people, they find it a good challenge. Um, Yes, not really for me, but I know a lot of people like it, and of course, all free within your cruise. So if you've never tried it before, something to try. Um, again, there's going to be a little bit of a break while I uh, move to another location because you've already seen it. Okay. Now on deck 11, I'll give you a quick look down the. Uh, <laughs> um, this is where the windjammer, Chops Grill and Giovanni's table is. Now, windjammer is the um, what do you call it? <laughs> I think it's the area for buffet. Really, it's a buffet-style dining. Uh, if you don't fancy doing something really formal. 
uh, Windjammer's place to go. Chops Grill does obviously what it says. It is a grill restaurant with fine dining. Again, another additional charge. Same with Giovanni's, which is more like an Italian. Currently, they're setting the uh, Windjammer up for a lunchtime service. Uh, there's lots of places where you can get drinks. There's a bar at the front, which uh, I'll video on the way out. Uh, you can see hustle and bustle at the moment while they're getting things ready. Uh, plenty of places to sit, it, sit a little bit inner if you don't fancy too much because it is quite high up. I understand some people are going to be a little bit, um, don't, don't like heights. As you see they're, they're basically tidy enough at the moment, get themselves ready. It gives you an idea, it's basically anything and everything you could want. Uh, they have, um, usually in the evenings they have uh, speciality evenings, I believe tonight is a Mexican evening. So that'll be not all Mexican food, but there'll be a, a little bit of a, a look on the Mexican side of things. Uh, and, uh, it's a popular venue for a lot of people who just want to literally grab and go eat and not have that official dining experience because uh, even in the main rooms, um, dining will take you about two hours. If you just want to be dinner for a few, you know, like 45 minutes, this is probably the ideal place to come. It's usually the first place to come when you board the ship. Let's take around the other side. This chop grill is there. And a speciality, obviously, steak. Um, again, the cover charge for that is, oh, I think. I think fifteen dollars a person, but don't quote me on that. And I think they do other things uh, at a little bit more of a premium price if you want something different. Um, but again, you know, there's, there's plenty of places you can eat here. There's you've got uh, Giovanni's Italian, you've got Chops Grill, uh, you've got uh, Sabor, which is on this cruise is a Spanish tapas, but I believe. That when uh, Navigator is in any other parts of the world, it's more of a Mexican restaurant. And on the top floor there's Izumi, which is uh, a Japanese style restaurant. Uh, if that takes your fancy, obviously extra to your cruise, but if you fancy some speciality dining, um, not too bad. So the only thing with Izumi is it's more like an a la carte menu, so it's not a set cover price. So you pay basically for what you eat, like a normal, any normal restaurant anywhere else you can think of. Um, they are. I'm getting ready to serve up some of this stuff at uh, lunchtime. Sorry if I'm babbling on and not making much sense. It's on a fly. But it's cold stuff, hot stuff. If you can't find something you don't like on here, I'll be very surprised. Usually rice, curries, even burgers, hot dogs. Um, there's something for everyone here. So it's, it's more, I would say, especially for uh, travellers with young children, it's more of a uh, uh, convenient place to go, let's say. As you're always going to find somewhere. These things are dotted around as well. Ice cream stations where you can just literally pick up a cone, pour yourself your own ice cream and uh, put your own topping on. Very, very nice. Um, if you've got a drinks package, you can also get the Coca-Colas here. Um, but they'll fill you up anywhere. Uh, we've got a drinks package. I must admit, we got that as part of the deal with the cruise. But I've been very impressed at how flexible it is. And uh, I may even think about doing that even if I didn't get it again, because it's just so nice to just go up to a bar, grab a drink whenever you like, and not be in charge for it. And here's your bar area. And uh, I think that's just about it. If I miss anything else out, I'll uh, video it during the cruise. Uh, but hopefully this has been a little bit of sense. If if, uh, if it has been a help to you, hit the like button. If it hasn't been a help to you, press the dislike button. In which case, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.